Well, it's me again, and um, I've uh, set up a new experiment. Um, first, I want to thank. Um, I was going to. Oh yeah, let me tell you first about all this paint I got over here. Um, this, these five, are house paints. So I know a lot of people are asking, you know, what kind of paint can I use? Well, I'd say every single kind of paint, as long as it says you can thin it with water. You can go for the other paints, but they're pretty toxic. And if you're going to torch them, I don't think that's a really good idea. So um, these five, just normal house paints. This is my go-to color, you know, that's my the color I love most, the green turquoise. And I have um, Amsterdam Acrylics White. I also have a white house paint, but I, I was looking for some interaction between the Amsterdam Acrylics and the house paints. And I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, see, this is the house paint. Oops, sorry, I have to... Keep in mind that the camera is here in the corner. So this is the house paint. And it's um, glossy. Fast drying. And it, I only bought them because they were on sale. I, I got like 750 milliliters for 5 euros. So that's the only reason I thought I'd try it. Because all the house paints that I can buy here, the colors I really like, are about uh, 30 euros the liter and that is a lot of money and then you can easily go back to Amsterdam acrylics because that's cheaper okay so what I was planning on doing I have my canvas uh, prepared I put some white acrylic on there no silicone in it just a simple bit of white titanium because um, sometimes when you use the uh, silicone, uh, the paint spreads and you can see the uh, you come down to the canvas and you do want some color on the canvas because it's just not done if you have a bare piece of canvas sticking out. You know, people who really know what they're talking about with painting will tell you you don't do that. So I have white titanium on it. It's almost dry because it dries real fast. But you could even uh, pour on a wet, wet canvas, because um, I see when I do that sometimes I see that the paint just uh, pours a little easier than on a dry canvas. So either way it works. And now um, we're at that moment where you have to decide how you're going to get this paint on this canvas. I was thinking of doing um, a flip cup. So I already have two cups, and I was thinking of doing a flip cup, and then just letting it do what it wants to do. Um, I want to do minimal tilting of the canvas, because I think that is uh, the most... For me, it's the ugliest thing, because everything goes zigzaggy, and I don't like it. So, um, I think I'll do a flip cup in the middle. And then uh, do pours on the sides. But like you're used to from me, I always say something and I always end up doing something else. So let's see how this goes. Um, I was going to get something that I forgot I was... Oh yeah, I know. And I can't reach it. It's, uh, okay. I was going to put a piece of paper under here because uh, a lot of the pour off. But who cares? Let's make some mess over here okay so I'm going to start with the white house paint on the bottom there and keep them aside because I don't want to mix them up then for contrast a really dark blue and I'll be watching if there's something happening in the cup not yet so then Another shade of blue. Then I want some Amsterdam acrylic white. 
And the people who are, who are wondering what's in this paint, in the house paint there is only water and silicone. In the uh, Amsterdam acrylic there's pouring medium and silicone. And only one type of silicone, I didn't use my mix bottle, so just the spray can sprayed it in there a little bit. So house paint white. Some green, green blue. I like this color because I think it goes very well with my turquoise green and it does. It's nice. But nothing happening in the cup and usually you should see something already happening. So I'll put some more acrylic white on this and this Amsterdam and then I might just mix up the house white with the Amsterdam. That so I got me some really layered colors. Maybe just a little more of that green because I like it. And a blue. Let's give it a big coat of paint. I think that'll look pretty nice. Now we can do two things. We can put this on the canvas and just let it do what it has to do. Or we can put a little stir stick in here and give it one small stir. And I think I'm going to do that. Sometimes it's nice to have, you know, um, a very peaceful looking painting, not too much um, cells in it. But I'm not sure how this is going to react. Oh, that is pretty. Even the stir stick is nice. Can you see it? Let's see. That's pretty. Oh, I wish my... Oh, wow. I hope the canvas is going to look like that. I'll keep the stir stick. I'll make some pictures of it later. Yeah. Okay. I hope my painting... See how I do that? So the canvas on top, and you can see right through the canvas, you can see the cup in the middle there, and then just turn it. There we are. And we'll put it down here. Can you see that? Yes. Um, the thing is, uh, I don't have a webcam. I'm, um, I'm videoing this uh, from my iPad Pro. You know, one of those really big iPads, and it's hanging from the ceiling with two strings, so I can uh, video this. Okay, let's do this. And now I'm thinking, shall I just pick it up, or shall I tilt the canvas a little? No, let's just pick it up. And I don't want the drips at the end dripping in my pore, so I, I, I really don't like that. Um, maybe I should tell you a little bit about that. You know, when you pick up the, the cup, there's all these drips coming down. And if you have a really beautiful pattern and you get those drips in there, I don't think it's nice. You know, if you want drips, you can just let the paint do its thing. And if you think, okay, I want some drips, you can drip later. So let's do this. Here we go. And... Like I said, I don't want to do too much tilting, but the paint is pretty thick, and the colors are beautiful. Whoa, okay, can you see over here, there's already stuff happening, and over here. Sometimes you just have to give it a little time. Well, this is pretty nice. Oop. I let it pour down a little. Sorry, you can't see this, but I just have to tilt it a little bit. Okay. Tell you the truth, I already like how, what it's looking like. Then one, a couple of pores on the side. And I will be tilting that in a minute. Okay. That 
looks nice. But I want some more white. So let's get some Amsterdam acrylics. And a little household paint. Give it one little swirl. And put some white there and there and there. Oops, don't forget the corners. So as you've seen, I haven't done anything yet. I haven't, um, I haven't torched it. I haven't swiped it. And now I'm tilting the canvas like crazy. Like I told you, I didn't want to do that. But I guess I don't always do what I want to do. But that's where I'm going to pull the line because that is beautiful. I like this very much. I'm glad I got gloves on. But I'm taking them off now. Okay, I'm going to let it just do its thing a little bit. And I've got one bare corner over here. That's good. And a little bare piece over here. Yep, that's good. That side is done. Oh, the, the back isn't ready yet. Let's see. That'll do. So I think it has done what it should be doing. And I think I'll put the torch to it right now. But I'm going to be pretty careful with the torching. Because I don't want it to be really, really busy. I don't like that. So let's put some in here. That was a piece of canvas that was sticking out. Okay, let's get to the torching. I got a real big torch, but I'm not going to use that. So the first thing um, I see is that the little bubbles are bursting. That's the first thing. And here's some lacing going. I think lacing is the easiest to do. What I'd really like is for some other colors to pop through. That lacing is nice. Let's see what's up here. Not much. That is good. I'll leave it just like this. It is still uh, a little bit busy, but it's okay. I can live with it. Now I'd like to... Oh no, I'll take the iPad down and show you. I'll run you over the colors. And then uh, run you over the painting. But I, I can live with this. And I really just want to, you know, use all that household paint. I bought it and be ashamed to just throw it out. So, it's something totally different. It acts totally different from the uh, Amsterdam acrylics. It does some nice things. But I think I would prefer not doing a flip cup, but doing something like... I, I don't think I've, I've showed you... Uh, the flip cup with pressure. Um, I'll show you what I mean. I could do another one. I have enough paint. So then I put this on the canvas. Just a piece of plastic. I put this on the canvas and fill it up with paint. And then I blow on top of here. I blow the paint all over the canvas. So we can do that. 
I'll um, I'll finish this one and then I'll uh, do a little clean up and then I can do another one. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.